Good evening there. Well, we're not uh, doing our video at our usual time. In fact, we missed uh, Thursday, Friday last week because at the time we thought, you know, it's looking really quiet. There's not much going on. Turns out there is today. Uh, but at that point in time, we didn't think much was going on, so we thought, ah, we'll just skip a video. But we are doing one tonight because, yes, uh, there is some thunderstorm chances in the pipeline tonight and overnight. Uh, but also because Steve is about to go to the USA uh, chasing thunderstorms, so these videos will go down for about two to three weeks because Steve uh, edits these clips together. So, please notice the new merch. Uh, Stephen Burrows, once again, has, uh, thanks to his efforts, uh, put uh, an order through for jerseys, t-shirts. Hopefully they'll be being sent out to you guys uh, right now. Uh, if not now, soon enough. Thank you very much, Steve. Okay, uh, the Aurora the other night was quite impressive, was it not? This was my efforts. It's the first time I've ever tried to photograph an Aurora. I must admit, though, yes, they're spectacular and ooh la dee da but uh, for me personally, I don't actually find them much of a challenge. You know, I just stuck the camera over the rear fence. Long exposure. <laughs> there you go. Lightning I find much more challenging and way more exciting to chase and, you know, thunderstorms to go after. It's really fast-paced action, gets you going. The Aurora, to be honest, I'm slightly colorblind too. Uh, when you look at the sky, I only really saw like a bit of a tinge. The actual dramatic colors there, you only really pick them up when you, uh, you know, put your camera to the sky, do a long exposure, boost the uh, ISO, and uh, yeah, that's what you get. Pretty cool. There's a lot better photos than mine out there. Go to the New Zealand Storm Chasers uh, Facebook group page and you can see them there. Okay, thunderstorm chances. There are thunderstorms occurring right now, depending on when this video comes out, but this evening. Yeah, Bay of Plenty, East Cape, thunderstorms occurring right now. It's to do with that front there. This is 3 a.m. overnight, but the front there is now offshore. Then we have this little low here, a bit of a beastie moving into the western side of the North Island, Taranaki up through to western Waikato, uh, a chance of heavy rain there, thunderstorms, and maybe even a tornado or two. I see Met Service have put out a risk uh, for the chance of a tornado there. Makes sense, there's very strong wind shear, uh, you know, in the lower part of the atmosphere, close to the ground. So that brings a risk of tornadoes, perhaps. Very dramatic. Then we move about uh, six days away to Tuesday the 21st of May, uh, basically the Upper North Island, big broad area of low pressure. There is some uh, cold upper air, bit of moisture at the surface, a few isolated showers could brew up in the afternoon, maybe one or two could be thundery. I can see this blue line here moving in from the south, that does mean some cold upper air here, but uh, there will be no thunderstorm uh, chances. Okay, off to Steve with some uh, information in regards to his trip to the USA. I will catch you in about two to three weeks' time. Cheers. Thank you, Aaron. You're just doing a bit of last minute packing uh, over here and checking the models out. Looks like we'll be chasing Louisiana on our first day. Uh, it's a state I haven't chased before, so really looking forward to that. Anyway, we'll be jumping on NZ28 tomorrow, flying to Houston. Uh, make sure you follow along.